Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're going to get this party started off a little bit correctly. I want you to pay attention. Under the Federal Reserve Act, what I put in was that the promissory note is the security. And when I did that, look at what they gave me, y'all. They said, hey, hold up, homie. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bonnie Tyler. We're going to skip her. We're going to go to Depeche Mode. Okay? We're going to let Depeche Mode start me out this day. So, ladies and gentlemen, Depeche Mode is letting y'all see something. Because they saw you. <laughs> All right, Depeches, y'all hold on now. We're going to get back to the Pesh mode later. So I'm going to reduce that volume. I got to have my music, people. And yes, I listen to the Pesh mode. What did you do, Pesh? Modes. Ladies and gentlemen, power of Federal Reserve Banks. Nothing in this act contained shall be construed to prohibit such notes. So we're going to go there in a minute. But we're going to go to this one right here. Section 16. Notes issues. Federal Reserve Board. The collateral security thus offered shall be notes, drafts, bills of exchange. Oh my snap. Did we just find what we were looking for? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the section, section 16 of the Federal Reserve Act. This is what y'all need. Look, they are trying to foreclose on you people. I just want to show y'all something. Ask yourself, and I want y'all, hold on, hold on. We're going to do control F so that we put, okay, we're just going to put notes. Now, remember, this is section 16. The section we were going to prior was section 18. Okay, here we go. Deposit to reduce liability of outstanding notes. I don't really want that one. I want to, but you see they do uh, allow you to deposit notes, ladies and gentlemen. Deposit to reduce any Federal Reserve Bank may at any time reduce its liability of outstanding Federal Reserve notes by depositing with the Federal Reserve agents its Federal Reserve notes, gold certificates, special drawing rights certificates, and our lawful money in the United States Federal Reserve notes so deposited shall be reissued, shall not be reissued except upon compliance with the conditions of the original issue. Uh, original issue discount. They get an original issue discount. Uh, anyway, substituting collateral, retirement of Federal Reserve notes. Well, we're going to deal with the substituting of collateral first. Any Federal Reserve bank may at its discretion withdraw collateral deposits with the local Federal Reserve agents for the protection of its Federal Reserve notes issued to it and shall blah, 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 depositing. Okay, any Federal Reserve Bank may retire its Federal Reserve notes. Now remember, you must understand that your notes have the same power and authority as the Federal Reserve notes. Okay, so let's do, we got to do Bill. Man, I met Bill. They told me not to mess with that mother. Okay. Now, collateral security thus offered shall be notes, drafts, bills of exchange, ex or acceptances acquired under Section 10A, 10B, 13, 13A of this Act, or bills of exchange endorsed by a member bank of the Federal Reserve District and purchased under the provisions of this section. Ladies and gentlemen, the security is the bill of exchange endorsed by the Federal Reserve Bank. Your bill of exchange is your promissory note. So let's see what section this is under. I haven't read this, ladies and gentlemen. The moment I found it, I said, nope, I'm going to tell it to everybody. Everybody keep talking about, oh, no, that's public and private. You need to keep that public. I mean, private, not public. You can't, you can't be telling everybody about your business. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Ulster Cult, I never heard of them. I'm going to let them play in my background. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, application of notes by Federal Reserve Bank. Any Federal Reserve Bank may make application to the local Federal Reserve agent for such 
amounts of Federal Reserve notes here in, uh, here in before provided for as to be as it may be required. Such application shall be accompanied by or with a tender, what tender? A tender to the local Federal Reserve agent of collateral in the amount equal to the sum of the Federal Reserve note thus applied for an issue pursuant to such application. Pay attention. Hold on now. Let's do that again. Such application shall be accompanied by tender. The application shall be accompanied by tender. What's the tender? Well, let's see. It says of collateral in the amount equal to the sum of the Federal Reserve notes. So let's find out what the tender of payment was, people. The collateral security thus offered shall be notes, drafts, bills of exchange, acceptances, blah, 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 the bills of exchange, blah, blah, blah. Ladies and gentlemen, the collateral for your application for your loan is your bill of exchange, your promissory note. Lord have mercy. They tell you right here. So why aren't they following this? Because you guys are not following the Federal Reserve Act. You're bringing up UCCs and you're bringing up all this other junk. Stick with the Federal Reserve Act. That's your power. That's where your protection is. Okay? The collateral is the note. Go here and read it for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, people say, well, that was repealed. Let's see what the history of the law is. Amended, amended, amended. 1916, 1932, 1933. Then January 30th, 1934. Okay, this is where they took out the, what is that thing called? The uh, secured, uh, the circulating notes issued in blank. You hear me going da 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 because look at that. 12 USC 412. Interesting, ain't it? And let's see. No, we're not going to deal with all this because I don't want to go through all that. I just want to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I've been watching YouTube for years, and I've never seen anybody bring this point out. Under the Federal Reserve Act, under the March 9, 1933 Act, your notes are securities. I just showed you where your note is the collateral, not your home. Your note is the collateral, not your home. People. Your note is the collateral, not your home. This is your argument in court. Okay? Your note substituted as collateral, not your home. And they were to deposit the note, and they did not. Blue Oyster Cult. I like the guitar thing, but it's not my music. Okay? It's just, it's not my music. We, it's still an 80s thing, y'all. So I'm still going to play them on my background, but I got to let you guys go. Why? Because I just gave you more than enough information in the last, this video and the other one on the Hour Style Money Orders to let you know what you need to do. Remember, this is for your necessities. I hope you pay attention. All right, have a good day, everybody. Don't say I ain't never did nothing for you because I ain't never did. All right, got to go.